have you ever thought about how a tiny seed can grow into a big plant that gives us food case in point wheat a single wheat seed grows into a wheat plant and eventually into wheat crop amazing right but here is a secret not just any seed can make that ha magic happen only good quality seeds can so my question here to all future scientists and farmers out there how do we pick the best seeds so after preparing the soil the next big step stage 2 in the agricultural system is seed selection let's dive in here is a fun experiment you can try at home grab a handful of wheat seeds and pour them into a bowl now add some water to the bowl wait for a bit and observe take a moment to think what do you think will happen some seeds will sink and some will float right exactly as you see in this picture now here is a big question for you why do some seeds float while others sink well the seeds that float are light and damaged they're like empty balloons not good for growing but the ones that sink they're healthy full of life ready to grow into strong plants cool right this clever technique called water flotation test helps farmers select the best seeds for sowing now that you've got your superstar seeds let's learn how to sow them like a pro did you know that farmers use two main methods to sow the seeds yes the old school method and the modern method back in the day farmers used a manual tool imagine a long stick with uh, pipes at the end they would pour seeds into it and the seeds would drop into the soil from the other end trust me it worked but it it required a lot of effort and time now fast forward to the modern method farmers today use seed drilling machines attached to the tractors these machines are super smart they drop seeds evenly into the soil they bury the seeds at the right depth so birds can steal and they save tons of time and energy compared to the manual method isn't it amazing how technology has made farming much easier and efficient let's talk about nurseries wait not this one for the kids or maybe we should talk about the one for the kids why do we send small children to nurseries during the first one two years it's because nurseries give them enough support and plenty of attention before they move on to the higher education now let's talk about plant nurseries they work pretty much the same way except they are for the plants some plants like paddy or fruit trees are first grown in nursery before being transplanted into the fields but why in plant nurseries tiny plants get all the care and attention they need to grow strong they have enough space to grow without competing with their neighbors they get plenty of sunlight and nutrients as well and also they are protected from harsh weather and pests during their delicate early stages isn't that cool and here is a fun fact sometimes farmers trim or prune plants in nurseries to reduce overcrowding it's like giving the plant a nice haircut and why do they do that to help the plant grow better and stronger that's the role of plant nursery in crop production so the next time you enjoy rice fruits or vegetables take a moment to appreciate the incredible science and care behind the process of growing them from selecting the best seeds to sowing them and nurturing them into thriving crops farmers are truly like plant superheroes here's a question for you what do you think the seeds eat to grow into strong plants do you think they need food like we do think about it and we'll uncover the answer in our next video